also details of dramatic new data on the state of the Japanese recovery. On the plus side, unemployment in the world's third largest economy has unexpectedly fallen. Analysts had been looking for the jobless rate to rise, but instead it declined for a second straight month, reaching 4.1 percent. That is the lowest in almost three years. On the minus side, the latest figures on industrial production, factory output, proved disappointing. Output fell by 4 percent in September compared to the previous month and compared to the same month a year ago. That contraction is twice as much as estimated. Well, for more, let's speak to Takuji Okubo. He is chief Japan economist at Societe Generale. He joins us now from Tokyo. Let's start out with this data. How do you explain this drop in industrial production, this surprise drop, when you have Japan rebuilding after an earthquake? Right. Well, uh, so we do have a positive and bad uh, negative news, and I do think uh, on the whole negative news outweighs. So I think the uh, negative news coming from IP is actually a bigger news for Japan. As for the uh, improvement in unemployment, um, as we explained actually right a month ago, I think it's actually more the result of people giving up searching for jobs rather than people, you know, getting employed. So that's actually not not particularly great news. So negative news, but. How did this happen? I mean, Japan is rebuilding. The government's announced 12 trillion yen in spending to rebuild after the earthquake. So how do you get a fall in factory production? What is that down to? Is it down to the yen? Right. Well, I do think, uh, well, looking at the contents, well, I think there are one temporary factor, which is the uh, energy saving. In, so through the Japan, Japan was under a severe electricity uh, constraint. So I think uh, we could explain the, uh, September's weakness through that. And another thing is, as you mentioned, the, yes, there is a reconstruction budget coming through. But uh, on the statistics, actually, we haven't really seen... Uh, any significant increase in the public project. So I think uh, government is really just sitting on the money and not really started to use. So I do think there will be more public uh, project coming in and they will be employing people. But uh, so we do see these uh, positive effects coming in, but uh, not in September. But this is kind of a scary situation, isn't it? You're talking about the country with the biggest debt in the world, public debt in the world. Uh, about to spend a bunch more money rebuilding the country at a time when it's producers, the likes of uh, another chip maker the other day, leaving the country, taking production elsewhere to places like Taiwan because the exchange rate, they say, leaves them no choice. Yeah. Um, well, I do think well, st strong yen, it's, it, I think it's natural. I mean, it's only, we cannot stop it. There's a deflation going on, which actually makes the each value of yen, uh, yen's value stronger. So I don't think uh, there's really any uh, use trying to stop the yen strength. So some industry will leave Japan, and uh, that's, uh, that's, a hist that's, uh, that's the way history goes. As for the... The fact that the Japan should, whether Japan should be spending now or not, I think we should, given that uh, Europe, one of the biggest regions in the world, is going through a fiscal uh, co co constructions. I think it, uh, if Japan and, say, U.S. also start doing the same, I think that would really depress the world economy. So it's actually good that Japan is uh, actually uh, creating a lot of demand right now. So what about this idea that they could actually help themselves, the Japanese, they could actually bring down the value of the yen by helping the Europeans, by bailing out the Europeans, contributing to that rescue fund? Is, would that actually do the trick on the yen, and would that be politically uh, palatable in Japan? I think uh, the best deal for Japan is uh, in, in, a, uh, in a exchange of... Uh, uh, giving, well, providing cash and uh, needed fund to Europe, if a uh, Jap Japanese policymaker could negotiate with Europe that to stay quiet even if uh, yen start to weaken against you, I think that would be the best outcome. But I think the offshore line coming out of Japanese policymakers' mouths is they are only trying to restrain the strength of yen rather than deliberately trying to weaken the yen. Money for silence. All right. Takuji yeah. Okubo, Societe Generale, Chief Japanese Economist there. Thank you so much for being with us.